previously on Paranormal Syndrome. And now for more spooks. Hello everybody, Washwood here, and welcome back to Paranormal Syndrome 2. So last time, uh, we were mysteriously seduced by this giant, like, eight-foot-tall woman with a white hat, and we decided we weren't having any of that. And then an old guy kind of got in the way. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty interesting. We used our gun, um, didn't work so well. The Fusama has been tightly shut. Okay, thank you. A mojito. And we got a lantern. And that's about it. So let's go try to find this notebook, huh? Oh my god, it was so fucking annoying earlier today. I had to go get my stupid car taken in. Because I ran over a nail. Like, and you know, you're not supposed to do that. It's kind of frowned upon. But it was like totally flat. I couldn't go freaking anywhere in my goddamn car. So I went in there. And it was just this little tiny place that you go and you can... They, if you bought it from them, they're like, Okay, we'll fix your tires for free. It's, it's all cool. So... I went there, and I sat in line for like two hours, and when I come back to my car, I was like, we fixed it, sir, thank you. I go there, I go into my car, in the 50 feet that he had to drive from the parking lot into his little garage to be able to fix it, he, f he changed every goddamn setting on my chair. Everything. in the entire car was completely changed to his liking, so he could drive 50 feet. I was like, what the heck? Why did you have to change the angle of the car, the height, ever? Oh my god, it was so annoying. What am I even doing? Go inside this door. You can't. It was just, it was very peeving to me why he had to change. And then I was just like, I switched everything back. I was just thinking, does he do that to every car? Maybe that's his little thing that he does to be a little imp. A large bell. Thank you for this. So I'm still irritated about it. Um, is this where I was staying? I don't think so. Um, the light has gone out. Oh, God. This is where we were before. Is this salt? Morigio, huh? It'd be great if it held its... Wait, what? It'd be great if its effect can hold for so long. I don't know what that is. It just looks like a bunch of salt poured on the ground. A hanging scroll. Awesome. Thank you. A golden colored decoratives have been adorned here. Awesome. And let's get the fuck out of here. Maybe we'll go find the guy. Oh. He's just looking at himself like, yeah, who's the man? Doing little finger gestures. You are. You're a sexy old bald man. You are. Oh, God, you caught me. Hey. Oh, he's embarrassed about it. You poor little guy. Our turn. The mirror has been clouded. Ah, damn it. The morjito has blackened. Can we leave? We're just gonna have to follow this guy around here? Dude, don't be embarrassed. Self-confidence is attractive. It's your problem. What? Oh, no, you're not gonna talk to me. Jushoku. Oh! What the fuck? I think his head just came off. Damn it! So I was too late. Uh, I'll I'll say. Damn you, Hashaku! Why did you rip off his head? Okay, pull out the gun. Just shoot the dead body. Just making sure. Maybe if we shot the body, the Hashaku would think that it we're on. Oh, would think that we're on its side and they'll leave us alone. Dude, I am ready for you, you little white fool. Oh god, I'm not! Woo! Let's try that again. I didn't run away, it was a strategic retreat. Okay, get in line with it. There you go. There you go! Awesome, perfect. Didn't stand a flippin' chance. Sorry! Bachan, sorry! Wow, that one had more health. A kite string. Okay. Obtained a kite string. Awesome. I'm glad that they only select the things that you're supposed to have because if I came into this room, I'd be like, I'm taking everything. Put everything in the inventory so that you would be able to have it for later. Probably not a good idea. The fire is lit, it seems. Was that lady just cooking? I just shot at her because she was white. Like a skeleton. Maybe she was innocent. Maybe she was just pale. Pure programmer. It's perfectly innocent. I killed her anyway. Terrible person. Sometimes. Oh my god. I'm not going to kill them every single time. I don't have the time or the patience. I'm going to kill that one though. Sorry. 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 Not sorry. Okay. Oh, I thought those were stairs going down. They were not. Oh. Okay. Do we have to be violent? Can we... What what if what if they're just being a little Buddhist? So oh, it's cool. 
I don't feel like reading this. I didn't ask you what you fucking felt like. Some mojito. Thank you. Obtain some morijo. Thank you. We have to kill all of them. I feel like it'd be kind of mean. They're just sort of like meditating. You know, I'm not. I'm just gonna leave them. You can just stay. And if I had to kill you, I'd know where you are. Okay. What am I using the mojito for? Okay, so they're only violent if they scream at you, it looks like. Otherwise, they're not. If they're got an activity to keep themselves busy, they won't be freaky murderers. Can I go down? Nope. We're we just gonna sprinkle the Marijo all over his body. That'd be that'd be fun. Just like season it. Put no mojito. There you go. Success. Did it work? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, we went outside! Uh oh. A Chozuya, it seems. Okay. Today is a day of misfortune. Yeah? Nothing of concern here. A big ugly boulder. We just leave. Oh. Well, then why were we staying? We're gonna lose our head, aren't we? Oh. Okay, we can't leave. Oh, shit. Can't go that way. Awesome. You know, I'm getting like some next level immersion shit going on here because it's actually raining outside my house right now. Kogare's gun. Take it. Take. Put it in your pocket. God dang it. Oh, double wield. We already have a gun. Kogare. Was was that him? Mission what? I cleared the mission what a what? I must have found the notebook. I just didn't think that I did. Several years ago. Don't kid me. How could such a world possibly exist? Those things do exist. Look at the reality already. Just what was all that you've seen so far? Even if supposing those things do exist, I am just a police officer. Go do monster extermination on the side. It's because it can't be done on the side that we do it. Just you try without experience. You'll only invite confusion. We need to keep charge over everything, you see. How idiotic. That's the first time I've heard anything like that. You simply don't know. You mustn't make light of reality. There's countless people who are trying to fight against something. Well, don't be pessimistic compared to boring everyday life. It's great how exciting this all is, you see. This isn't just play, you know. I'm not playing. However, once you get to know the backside of things, there's no going back. Tanabe-san. Yo, Himuro. I think that that was backstory. Yep, that was definitely backstory that we just experienced. The weather has turned ominous, hasn't it? What is it now? Have you managed to get in contact with Himuro? Yes. As expected, he succeeded in getting in contact with Hashaku. Then that's great, isn't it? Is there any kind of problem? Kagori-kun appears to be missing. It won't get through even when we try calling him. It is unknown if he is safe. 
He's not. Poor guy. In my experience, these cases usually end with death, and thus, to everyone in the Special Ops Division, it'd be best not to be too hopeful. The fact that Heshaku appeared in this village was probably a result of the effects of the second paranormal syndrome. The Doso gene at this village's boundary. Because of it, that guy can't get out of this village. It will not be able to move to Kikugua Villa or City. Am I not mistaken? Hashaku was lured here into this Shinsei village. I feel that there's a different intent to all this. Yeah? Obtain the dog whistle. That sounds like a strain of marijuana. Just throwing it out there. Dog whistle. Nothing inside. That would be pretty flippin' anticlimactic. The first barrel I go to just has it. Uh-oh. Just has it in there. Are you peaceful, people? Oh, God! No, they're not! Okay. Woo! Oh my god, I'm gonna have to kill three of them? That is too many. Unload. There you go. Maximum range. Ha <laughs> ha! They're distracted by the shiny thing on the ground, you fools. I put that shiny there in a previous life. It's all according to plan. What is it? Found a chain cutter. Hell yeah. What is the chain cutter going to be used for? Cutting a chain? It's probably likely. Is this not a ladder? Way to trick me. Holy crap, that looked like a ladder. Um, maybe there's a gate somewhere. No? Okay, how about we just go orderly, back the exact way that we came from, but this time with a chain cutter. A signboard. Yeah? Once each day, huh? This place really is rural. I don't even know what you're talking about. You can't go that way. You can't go that way. But you can go this way for some reason. That guy it looks like a samurai one, so we're gonna leave him alone for a bit. It feels like I've seen something like this before. Yeah? It's a bunch of dead chickens? What the fuck is this? Okay, just leave it alone, you weirdos. Not a single person here. Wow, this is a lot more modern looking. It was decided that a safe would be set up in my home. Inside the safe are two gold nuggets and that thing. My grandchild recorded the dial combination in the radio cassette by request, so check it if it's ever forgotten. Wow, what a convenient page we just turned to. Recorded the dial combination in the radio cassette. What? Okay. It won't turn on. Fuck. What do you mean it won't turn on? Shit. Okay. So we have to get the power back on? So we can use the random box? Do nothing. Okay, fine. So we're going to have to get it. I mean, I get it. We have to turn the power back on, I guess, or find some batteries or something. Yeah, because they didn't specify the cassette was battery powered or not, but I'm gonna guess that it's probably. Probably just a consequence of not having batteries or something. Alrighty, what were you guarding over here? It's, oh, it is fluttering about in the wind. What is? It's all dirt. Vegetables inside. Yummy. Fruits, eat them. Become big and strong, eat a Whole Foods plant-based diet and lived here 150. Oh. Found telephone card. Okay. Be able to rack up them telephone minutes without actually having to pay for things. I remember when that used to exist. We had minutes that you could be on the phone. That was funny. Get the hell. Oh, God, he's fast. Woo. Not fast enough, though. 
fucking AOL discs that would come in the mail and be like, hey, do you want some minutes on the internet? Minutes on the internet? What are you talking about? You crazy. Stop it! God! Oh my gosh. It's almost safer to just run away from him. Found battery, thanks. I don't want to touch it. Okay, probably desperate to get away. Ever since the old times in this Shinsei village, always close to the path of spirits, usage of a tool, the dog whistle, which emits a particular wave, has been forbidden throughout the area. The ultrasonic waves emitted by this tool seems to have the worst compatibility with the characteristic magnetism of a Shinsei village, and calls forth beings that are not human. Shinsei Village is famous for being a region where mysterious phenomena frequently occur, but because of this, it has become even more so. The dog whistle, huh? By using that, perhaps I'm able to call for that guy to come. This is... Found Dog Whistle. Hell yeah. Found that dog whistle. Mission cleared! Thank you. Only took me... God. Way longer than it should have. Holy shit. Now, where to call that guy forth? My opponent is that Hashaku. If I'm going to face it off, it'd be best if I chose the place. <laughs> oh. Damn it! Now, of all times! <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Yeah. No, they're just like, oh, he died. Okay, we can go back to our normal lives. Wonder what the ghost people do on their normal lives. It's an interesting question. I don't know. Something. Mikoto? I get a bad feeling about things. Yeah? Fuh! <laughs> <laughs> This thing is quite strong. As expected, Kojiro-san's DNA sure is impressive. Now then, looking around here, it's all trash everywhere, like always. But with this weapon, might it be possible to defeat them, perhaps? Mission objective, eliminate the paranormal. Hell yes. I am ready. What? What? We're gonna be this guy. Defeat them by making surprise attacks from behind. Okay. Die. Shin. Okay. Sneak attacks from behind. Practically what I was designed for. Awesome. Booyah. I can do this. Yes. Oh, yes. Come hither, my friend. And we go get him. I mean, this is working, kind of. 
Awesome. Friggin' sneak up behind him and just hit him with a stick. Life doesn't get much more simple than that. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Don't trigger your friend. Don't trigger me, bro. Just die already. There we go. God, you just had to come at it from a slightly different angle. Wasn't even that different. Dirt has been piled here. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Oh, there's an open window. Get up there. This isn't something I can't climb, but I have no need to go over there. Uh-uh. What about, there's, well then why did, ugh, fine. You know what, I'm just not gonna ask questions at this point. We used a stick to kill paranormal. Instead of a gun, which we don't, oh, oh, we lost our gun. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I thought we were just doing it for sport. I was like, you weirdo. It's hardcore. That one was easy. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Just wait. Just wait for him. He's coming. Believe it. Ah, shit. Oh, you could just kill him anyway. These ones are not special. They will just die. Regardless of the way that you kill them. Mission cleared. That took me... I don't even know how long. This game is starting to piss me off. <sighs> it has great power, but its ease of use is another story. In the end, Himuro-san's gun really is the best. 